I'd just like to say opening statement is I'm extremely proud of our collective team defense and the effort in which we showed in the second half um, as a team, both offensively and defensively, but I think it started on the defensive end for us. And, um, and although we only hold, we held them to 19 points in the second half, I think we set basketball, women's basketball back about 20 years that first half. Um, but, uh, you know, it's to be expected. There's nerves. First time for our young, young ladies to be in an atmosphere like this. And um, just really proud of our team effort. And it, it didn't matter who shot it. It didn't matter who scored. Um, it's all about a team. And, and we're really, really proud of our, our team effort today. Yeah, you know, sometimes um, inexperience works in your favor because you, you don't know better. You don't know to be scared um, or nervous. Um, I told him at halftime, I said, well, it's about as bad as we, it can get. You know, we said we shot 18 percent, 11 from three and 40 from the foul line. I said, that's good because we only had a half an hour for shoot around in here this morning. So that first half equaled the hour of shoot around. <laughs> and so we got it all out of our system and now we can go play basketball. I had a lot of kids that have fallen, so to speak, throughout the season. Um, you know, in September, we lost one of our seniors. She's a walk-on, but she was a great leader for us in Sarah Lottenville. Then we lost Ella Clark and Cindy Baez. Um, and then when Bianca went down, um, you know, everybody, we just picked up the pieces, you know, and it was an emotional game up at Cal Poly. I mean, we all know we lost by 27 before they, they killed the game, but um, we felt like we had unfinished business and um, the young ladies step up and play for one another. You know, when one falls down, the other one's gonna step up and, and they, they care about each other and they talk about that. I think like my coach said, I mean, you know Santiago is probably one of the best in the league. So it's like um, knowing that I had to guard her was pretty like, you know, because I'm pretty sure you guys can see that I struggle with moving my feet and getting around. So it's like darn. But um, it's, it's just a matter of I have to step up and do what I have to do in order to win the game so we can advance. So I mean, that means trying to wall her up or just got to do the best I can do. As a point guard, I was, I'm told to be a leader. So when I saw my team struggling in the first half, I knew someone had to step up. And if I can control what I can control, why not? During that last stretch, it was, it was crunch time. And it was just like, you know, that shot's there. And I, I just felt confident, you know, that's what I needed, confidence. And I just, it was just com I just felt comfortable shooting that, so. And, uh, you know, we talk about why not now, why not us, why not now, you know? And um, I think as long as we uh, believe in one, continue to believe in one another and uh, have each other's backs on that court, anything is possible.